Jesus, I gave myself indigestion saying that out loud. Tori's friend Becky drives us. Becky keeps looking at me in the rearview mirror. I've never been truly sure whether Becky likes me or not, but right now I don't think it matters. It only takes a minute to drive there, but Tori says we have to drive because a quick getaway will be vital to the success of the gesture. Sitting in the back seat, I flick through the photos again. Should I post all of them through the letterbox? Just a few? Just one? I make the decision and take a pen out of my pocket. Nick. Nicky, is that you, love? My mum calls from the kitchen. Yeah, I shout. You've got post. I groan and rise from the sofa. I stumble towards the kitchen and walk towards the table where there's a brown envelope with the word Nick on it. No address. It's in Charlie's handwriting. And my stomach lurches harder than it has done all weekend. It's from Charlie. Mum gapes. We both stare at the envelope for a long moment. Well, open it then. And I do. Inside the envelope is a photograph, the sort you get developed from disposable cameras. And I know immediately that I took this one. I remember the exact moment I decided to take it, and I felt like if I was going to die, this would be what I wanted to see last. I turned the photo over, and there's Charlie's handwriting. Hey, you take a lot of pictures of me. Do you have a crush on me or something? How embarrassing. If you want to talk, I'll be at the Truem Primary School Summer Fate tomorrow, Tuesday, at 3 o'clock. Wow, this isn't a rom-com, lol. I'm sorry for how sappy this is. BTW, I love you. Okay, bye. Kiss, 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 kiss. Charlie, what if Nick didn't even see the photo? What if it, like, slipped underneath the doormat? Or his mum threw it away by accident? What if he saw the photo, tore it up, and didn't even notice the note on the back? What if he read it and still doesn't turn up? Repeatedly checking my phone and searching around for my boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend? No, not ex. Not yet. I'm not giving up yet. At quarter to three, I go and wait near the entrance to the field, just inside the tennis court. It reminds me too much of the Truham tennis court, the day when all this had started. All these stupid, pointless feelings. Charlie Spring, 1454. I'm in the tennis court. If you're coming, he doesn't text me back. It doesn't even say he's read the message. I feel myself start to sweat a little. Is this it? Am I going to give up after this? Am I going to be able to give up? What am I going to say to him? Am I just going to beg him not to break up with me? What if he turns up and still says he wants to break up? I take a deep breath. This is it, I guess. I look up and watch as Nick walks through the tennis court gate 